In this video I'm going to talk about um, the characteristics of the iconal equation. So I'm going to talk about drawing them and also choosing the sign that occurs in the, in the, in the solution. And we're going to do this by looking at an example. So we're going to consider a sand pile described by uh, the iconal equation. So this guy here, du by dx all squared plus du by dy all squared equals 1. And we're going to consider that our sand pile uh, builds up on a table, uh, which is defined by this inequality here. So y is greater than or equal to x. The first thing we need to do is uh, look at this uh, this table. So we could sketch this. So here's some coordinates, x and y. And then if we plot the boundary of this table, we see it's just a straight line through zero. And then so we're talking about the region y greater than or equal to x, which is which is this region here. And to make uh, progress analytically, we need to think about this boundary here, okay? So this is the table edge. This is my table edge. And we'll describe it with a parametric curve, which we call gamma of s. So we have to introduce the parameterization ourselves. Uh, but this is just the line y equals x. So uh, we can just introduce. So the x value along this curve, x naught, is just given by s y naught is also s because x must be equal to y on this curve and because this is a sand pile example we know that the height of our sand on the boundary that's u naught will just be given by zero um, and we should also say that this parametric variable s that we've introduced so it goes between minus and plus infinity, okay? So the idea is this S value describes a point on our, on our table edge, okay? So I'm just drawing in a few points here. So those would all be different values of, of S. So I'm not going to go through the mechanics of solving uh, Solving everything with this example, so the idea would be that we write down Sharpitz equations. Uh, we would also need the auxiliary equations, equations, so for P0 and Q0. <clears throat> but this is pretty standard stuff that we've we've done before. So I'm just going to jump straight to the to the solution. Okay, so the solution that we obtain is x is equal to plus or minus 1 over the square root of 2 times tor plus s y equals minus or plus 1 over the square root of 2 times tor plus s and our sampile height u is given by just tor so let's maybe put this in a box So this is something you should be able to readily get to your yourself. And we can say that this uh, parametric variable that we've introduced, tor, remember this is the, the variable that uh, scans along our characteristic curves. So because this sand pile height has to be greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero, so does this tor. Okay, so our our height is a is a positive quantity. So this Tor must also be uh, non-negative. But as you can see in this solution, we've got 
sort of one little uncertainty in t certainty in here which is this sign okay so we've got a plus or minus for the for the x and this minus plus for the for the y and we need to choose that based on the 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 physical example that we're uh, that we're discussing. So here we're, we're talking about the sand pile being on the table and not floating in midair is the is the physical situation. So how do we choose this sign uh, to get that correct? So let's redraw our table edge. So hopefully a bit neater this time. So this is my coordinate system x y. Uh, I'll put this in in black. So this is my table edge. So this is the curve gamma of s. And so let's look at the two uh, the two solutions we've found. So with the top sign, so that's. Uh, x equals plus 1 over root 2 tor plus s and y equals minus 1 over root 2 tor plus s so that's uh, solution 1 with the top sign and then we can also look at the solution with the bottom sign so this is x equals minus 1 over root 2 tor plus s and y equals plus 1 over root 2 tor plus s and u is the same in, in, in both cases so I'm not going to worry about that here um, so let's let's uh, let's draw these these two families of characteristic curves we'll start with the top sign so with this blue one so we don't have to draw the whole family we can think of particular examples and uh, so something that's particularly simple that we could look at is when this s here is zero. Okay, so s equals zero means that when tor equals zero, i.e. I'm starting my boundary, that, that x is going to be zero, and so is y. So this would be starting at this point here on my characteristic curve. So this is s, s equals zero is this, is this point here. Uh, then you see, so tor is going to be greater than zero, so we said that from, from up here. So as I increase x, as, sorry, as I increase tor, x will increase and y will decrease. So in particular, if I come out to, uh, say, tor equals the square root of 2, then x will be given by plus 1 and y will be given by minus 1. So that's the point here x is plus 1, y equals minus 1. And then I could go out to tor equals 2 times root 2, and that would give me the point 2 minus 2, and, and so on. So this characteristic that starts at y equals 0 is the straight line coming down here. And that's already enough to tell me that I don't want this sign. Okay, so we said that the, that the table that I'm talking about is in this uh, this top corner here and so the, the the bottom corner is the is the thin air so I don't want this blue solution right that's not that's not what I'm after so let's now look at the the bottom sign let's come over to this one and we'll do the same trick so start with s equals 0 and then we see if we come out to tor equals uh, square root of 2 x will be minus 1 and y will be plus 1 so that is the point x is minus 1 y is plus 1 that's this point here then I could go to tor equals 2 times root 2 that would give me this point here and so forth so starting from s equals 0 I would get this characteristic and of course that lies on our on our table so that is the solution that I want okay so these characteristics these guys are on the table so those those are the ones I want so we would pick those and our so our solution would be 
So x equals minus 1 over root 2 tor plus s. y equals plus 1 over root 2 tor plus s. And u equals tor greater than or equal to 0. So just to fill this off, if we were, if we were to ask that we uh, ask to plot all of the characteristics, we could come back to our diagram, and all we would need to do here, so we've started with the characteristic from s equals zero, we would need to come to different values of s. Okay, so we could come here to s equals one, and then do exactly the same game, take some values of tor, uh, and, 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 and plot some results. So these are always going to be straight lines here. So you can see that I've got a characteristic here, and one here, and one here, and one here. So really the point I want to make with this is if we need to sketch the characteristics, uh, a good idea is to pick some sensible values of s. So here we chose s equals zero. Things became very simple there. Um, in fact, it's always simple here because this is a simple example, but we could just step through s equals 0, plus 1, minus 1, plus 2, minus 2. And then we scan through tor, and as we scan through tor, we we move along the, the, the characteristics. Okay, so you can sketch these by hand if you just think, okay, I'm going to pick a point on the boundary, try and pick something clever, something simple, and then from there take some values of tor, and come along uh, your your characteristic curves. Okay, finished.